Well, good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to Nottingham, the first of two press conferences here today ahead of a huge night of boxing, the WBA featherweight championship of the world between Nottingham's Lee Wood and Belfast Michael Condon this Saturday live on the zone all around the world. As I've said before, almost 10 years since Carl Froch's historic victory in Nottingham Arena. We've been looking to bring a mega fight back to this city for some time. 10,000 sellout on Saturday. The atmosphere is going to be incredible. Three or 4,000 Irish also in attendance for what will be a tremendous matchup. Of course, back from an incredible card in San Diego, where pound for pound great Roman Chocolatito Gonzalez defeated Julio Cesar Martinez in San Diego in front of an unbelievable atmosphere. And a huge run of events coming live on the zone around the world, of course, this Saturday. Next Saturday, we're in Los Angeles, where Michael McKinson gets a dream shot against Virgil Ortiz. The week after, Josh Warrington looks to become a two-time world champion against Kiko Martinez, again in front of 11,000 sellout in Leeds. Moving into April, of course, with Conor Ben now announced to fight Chris Van Heerden on April 16th in Manchester and Madison Square Garden, April 30th, the mega fight. Katie Taylor against Amanda Serrano. The week after, of course, pound for pound king Canelo Alvarez takes on Dimitri Bivol. An incredible, incredible lineup on the zone. We can't wait to bring you all of those events across matchroom boxing. But first, to focus on this Saturday in Nottingham and the undercard press conference. So many great fights, great fighters, great prospects. People returning to the world championship scene. People looking to make their mark in the world rankings. And we'll start with the heavyweight division. And we'll start with Thomas Carty. Thomas, welcome. Um, massive for you to get on this card. Dillian White told me. I had no excuses but to get you on. Of course, huge Irish crowd expected and a massive opportunity to advance your career on Saturday. Yeah, absolutely. Um, me and Dillian had a chat after the last one and we were looking to make a bit of a plan to see when we get out again. And It made the most sense to get me on this card. I was calling out for it, to be honest, because um, I knew it would be a massive event. And it, as you can see, it is, you know. So, uh, big shout out to you and shout out to Dillian for Sona and the team. Obviously, plan for any young fighter, particularly heavyweight, is, is to stay active. Box last time out in, in a big arena as well, but something different this time will almost feel like you're at home on Saturday. And of course, I know you talked about your desire to go on and win first up before many titles. The Irish heavyweight title is something that's important to you. Yeah, um, I'm looking forward to Saturday. You know, I have a lot of people coming up to watch me, and um, a lot of people from Dublin. We haven't been given that many chances to go on big cards, you know what I mean? To get, to get a crowd from Dublin over the big cards as of late, but uh, absolutely delighted that there's going to be a big crowd from Dublin coming Saturday and then uh, hope you progress on to the Irish title before the end of the year. I'll be the first person then to win it since Tyson Fury, so uh, looking forward to that. Look forward to seeing you in action on Saturday. Nico Olivares will make his professional debut. Nico, what an incredible stage as a, a local fighter to get out and make your professional debut on a card like this. A lot of people talking about you, I know obviously MTK and, and the team around you as well, but the absolute perfect opportunity for you on Saturday night. Yeah, I mean, I remember when I first got the call and got told the other card I'd be on, I couldn't believe it, because it's literally 20 minutes up the road from me. It's like, it's my home city and I'm blessed to be able to make my pro debut on such a big card. And my mates on the card is he defends his world title in my home city, you know. Thank you to MTK and to Matchroom for sorting it out and getting me on here and just go there now and uh, make a good transition from my amateur career into the pros and put on a good performance. I think uh, the size of the crowd on Saturdays is particularly encouraging for fighters from the area. I know that you've sold a huge amount of tickets, Lee Wood and his family have been plaguing us for more tickets all the time, but to see a big fight night in Nottingham, 10,000 people, obviously the last time was, was the Carl Froch era as well, gives great opportunities for young fighters from the area to go and progress their career. Yeah, we've got a good boxing scene in Nottingham and in the surrounding areas. I think to get boxing in the city, to get it on the big cards, on TV, is only good exposure. It's going to spur everyone on in the career. So I think it's good to put Nottingham and Mansfield in the spotlight. Look forward to seeing your journey begin on Saturday. Great to see Thomas Whitaker Hart back in action. Of course, the Tony Bell, you managed light heavyweight, former GB squad member as well. Thomas, welcome back. Been a very, very frustrating time for you, but looking forward to getting back in the ring on Saturday and moving forward to, to titles in 2022. Yeah, um, I've had a terrible, terrible couple of years. Um, I think my career was going to be over, say the last 12 months, but thankful it's not. And I've got a good opportunity here back on another good show and 
I want to thank yourself for maximum boxing for uh, giving me the opportunity and I want to push on for titles now at the end of the year. Has that delay out of the ring sort of sped up the process to moving forward and, and taking those bigger fights? I know that you know when we originally looked at it, it was all about giving you the time to progress, but like I said, cut short by that, that period of injury and sort of speaking to the team, it's you know a good eight rounds and then moving into ten rounds and maybe even looking at the British title at the end of the year. Yeah, most definitely. I wanted to, um, most definitely wanted to get my hands on the British by the end of the year, but it's, been, it's what I thought about a lot when, when I wasn't too well and when I was out the ring, it was, that's all I had to think about was not being there, not being able to, to have them belts and it's made me younger and it's made me want it more, so it could have done a, a lot of good for me as well. Well, I look forward to seeing you back in the ring on Saturday night. Going on to the main TV card, uh, some tremendous fights and this one particularly exciting. Gary Cully against former world champion Miguel Vasquez. Um, Miguel, I'll start with you via your translator over there. Welcome back to the UK. Last time you were very hard done by in your fight with Lewis Ritson, but another big fight for you in the UK this Saturday. Bienvenido de nuevo al Reino Unido. La última vez contra Luis Pitzen las cosas no iban a tu favor y tuviste mala suerte, pero contento de volver de nuevo aquí para esta pelea. Sí, claro que sí. Este, primero que nada, gracias por, por haberme traído de nuevo aquí a Reino Unido. Estoy muy contento de, de volver a venir. Y, y pues, tengo una gran oportunidad que tengo ahorita de volver a pelear. Vamos a pelear contra un gran peleador como Gary Cooley y estoy emocionado y contento porque puedo demostrar aquí en Reino Unido de vuelta que, que sigo siendo que, que sigo siendo un gran peleador. So yeah, first and foremost, I have to say thanks for bringing me once again to the UK. I'm really, really happy to be here, uh, and I'm facing a great opponent. Um, so it's great to be have this opportunity once again to show people in the UK that, that you know I'm still a big thing in, in boxing. There's been a lot of controversy recently around scorecards in, in this country. Have you got over that decision against Lewis Ritson previously? It was, a, it was a shocking decision that we saw go against you, and obviously you want to make sure that you do as much as possible in the ring on Saturday. Entonces, ¿has podido ya olvidarte de la decisión que, que tuviste contra Luis Rich? Obviamente fue una, un desastre de decisión. Eh, ¿Estás como contento ya de, de volver a, a, a enfrentar a, a tu oponente desde este sábado? Sí, claro. Yo sé que eh, independientemente de que hubiera sido robo o no, uh, se gana y se pierde, pero estoy contento de volver a, a pisar el Reino Unido y volver a a ver, aquí es un gran país y, y las veces que, que me inviten aquí estaremos. Yeah, so, so I know, you know, apart from whether or not I won or lost that fight, whether it was a robbery, you, you can say what you like, but I'm just so happy to be once again on these shores and, and to be able to show what I can do in the United uh, Kingdom. It's a, it's a wonderful country and I'm so happy to be back here. Thank you, Miguel. Gary, welcome. I know you've been looking for this opportunity for a long, long time. Again, amazing card to do it, huge Irish support, and your first big, big test on Saturday night. You're ready to make a statement. Yeah, I've been looking for this chance, just calling your name probably since I'm two and three and oh, so I'm excited that's finally here. I've got a great opponent in front of me, Miguel Vasquez, um, who's been there, done it, so it's a big test for me as well, and I'm looking forward to putting on an explosive performance on Saturday. Everyone that I speak to speaks so highly of you as well. I think people in the sport know about your potential, but this is almost like the, you know, Miguel Vasquez renowned as a gatekeeper to move on to those big names, and you want to make sure that in 2022 you make a real statement in the world rankings. Yeah, I think 2022 is, is the year that I plan on, like you said, making a statement in the world rankings and, and stepping up and challenging and winning world titles. So Miguel Vasquez is the first step in doing so, and um, I've been building quite on the DL, kind of on the MTK shows, on the small hall scene for the last couple of years, putting in big performances, and um, now it's my first, my first kind of show on the big stage, and I'm looking forward to showing everybody what I can do. Well, can't wait, Gary Cully against Miguel Vasquez, kicking off the live broadcast on the main card on Saturday. We talk about step ups. This is a, a brilliant fight. Sandy Ryan against Eric Farias. Um, we've seen Sandy Ryan, fantastic amateur. Commonwealth Games gold medalist come through 
look invincible as a professional so far, but against the kind of opposition that you would expect her to look invincible against. Paul Reedy and the team said Sandy Ryan was ready for the step up. I have to be honest, when the name Eric Farias was mentioned, I thought it was too soon. Sandy didn't, Clifton didn't, Paul didn't, and you got a brilliant fight on Saturday. Sandy Ryan just 3-0 and against two division world champion Erica Farias. Erica, we'll start with you. Um, you've boxed all over the world, you've fought the very best, and you still sit as one of the top fighters in the division. You've got a great fight on Saturday, but you certainly have the edge in terms of experience. Bienvenido, eh, bienvenida aquí al Reino Unido. Has peleado contra todos en el mundo, hasta todas las divisiones y sigues siendo una de las mejores en las divisiones. Eh, estás aquí para mostrar tu experiencia, supongo, eh, saber que tienes la ventaja el sábado. Sí, ¿qué tal? Bueno, buenos días para todos. Eh, muchas gracias a él por sus palabras. La verdad que cuando me llegó la propuesta para pelear, eh, lo asumo como una, una pelea de campeonato mundial. La mayoría de mis peleas fueron por campeonatos del mundo y me entreno vivo de esto, soy un pelea, una peleadora que estoy para los grandes desafíos y me lo asumo y lo tomo con el compromiso de lo que requiere una pelea. No es por campeonato, pero para mí todas las peleas son campeonatos del mundo, así que voy a dar una gran pelea y dar lo mejor de mí como campeona que soy y el campeón se hace con el tiempo y aún lo sigo sosteniendo. So yeah, first and foremost, thanks very much for those lovely words, Eddie. Uh, when I was offered this fight, you know, most of my fights that I've had in my career have been against, as have been for world titles. So I train as if it's a world title fight, and I've been training as this, as if this was a world title fight, even though it isn't. So I always ready, and, and I always have accepted the big challenges, and I think champions are built over time. So I'll be facing up to this fight as if it was a world title fight. Every fight that you're in, you're just full throttle energy, just fighting non-stop every second of, of every round. Do we expect the same from you on Saturday night against an opponent that hasn't boxed that kind of distance? Cada pelea que vemos de ti, eh, peleas, vas a frente, cada segundo, cada minuto, vas a frente, vas a choque. Esperemos a, eh, lo mismo el sábado contra un rival que quizás no tiene tanta experiencia. Sí, eh, vivo de esto hace muchos años, la verdad que disfruto mucho subirme al ring, disfruto de cada previa, de la conferencia de prensa, pesaje, eh, por eso te digo, me tomo la pelea con el compromiso como si fuese un campeonato del mundo y voy a dar toda mi experiencia y lo mejor de mí para salir victoriosa y decirle a Cindy Ryan que conmigo levante las manos, conmigo que tenga la guardia arriba. So, yeah, from... You know, I, I live for this sport, you know, I enjoy every single moment of it, whether it's the press conference, whether it's the weigh-in. As I say, I focus and I'm focused for every fight as if it was a, a world title fight. So you can expect me going into the fight and, you know, going out victorious. And what I would say to Sandy Ryan is that she keeps her guard up. Sandy, it's a, it's a huge step up. I know you're always full of confidence, but it must be very exciting sitting there knowing that after, you know, three great performances, you're in a real fight on Saturday night. Yeah, and this is what I want, um, and this is why I said I want someone who's coming to win, basically. As she said, she's trained for 10 rounds like it's a world title, so um, it's going to be a good fight. But yeah, she's fit. I respect her as a fighter. She's um, for great champions, but I know I'm different, and she'll see that Saturday night. We talk about, you know, obviously her durability as well, but she will be coming forward all night. You expect to use your, your skill set, your amateur pedigree as well, to, to take her apart over time. Expect it to be a fast-paced fight and, and brutal as well. Yeah, um, I'm going to make, make, make the fight the pace that I want to make it at. And uh, I will, we, we've got a good game plan, me and Cliff. Um, but honestly, if I have to outbox the skill, I'll outbox it. If I have to go to war, I'm going to go to war. Finally, obviously you believe you will be triumphant on Saturday. This is a, such a huge step up. There's really no steps backwards after this. You beat someone like Farias, you know, you, you have to be fighting for a world title within the next you know, one or two or three fights. It's going through Farias really shows to everybody that you're world level. Yeah, definitely. And even now the people are saying that's too early and this and that. But um, when I believe in myself and my team believes in me, you'll believe in me after this fight. Uh, then, yeah, um, I'm ready for. I'm just ready for anybody. Well, well done for taking a huge step up on Saturday. It's going to be a tremendous fight, Sandy Ryan against two division world champion Eric Farias. Another great fight 
and another huge opportunity for an Irish fighter in Kevin Ogyarko stepping up against Juan Carlos Rubio. It's another big step up for Kevin. Huge support from Belfast, obviously, in the arena on Saturday night. Juan Carlos, I'll, I'll start with you. Took this fight at late notice, but already training for a fight. You come with uh, high expectations. Going to be a great fight with Kevin on Saturday. Sí, va a ser una, una gran pelea contra Kevin el sábado por la noche. Tomaste la pelea con muy poca lenta antelación, pero ya estabas entrenando para otra pelea. Como que vienes con todo, ¿no? El sábado. Sí, pues este, venimos bien preparados. La pelea salió muy apresuradamente, pero nosotros estuvimos corriendo, entrenando para pues, esta oportunidad. Me gusta tomar retos y voy por uno más. So yeah, I really enjoy taking on challenges and this will be, you know, another one for me. Uh, we did take this, this fight at very short notice, but we were already preparing, we were running and we were training and waiting for this opportunity to present itself. We've seen some huge wins for Mexicans in this country and you are fighting our Irish Canelo on Saturday night, but as we saw on Saturday in San Diego, Mexicans always bring the fight and we expect a, a real cracker between you and Kevin Ogyarko. Eh, como sabemos que aquí los mexicanos se han llevado unos triunfos bastante buenos, aquí tenemos el eh, irlandés, el, can, el canelo irlandés, como le llamamos aquí. Eh, supongo que, como hemos visto en San Diego el otro día también, los mexicanos siempre vienen tan todo. Supongo que vienes a lo mismo, ¿no? El sábado. Sí, bueno, este, vengo por todo. Este, voy a dar una gran pelea y pues quiero dar muchas gracias al campeón por darme la oportunidad de discutir su título. Yeah, I'm going to come and give everything on Saturday. I want to give thanks to the champ for giving me the opportunity. Um, yeah, I'll be bringing everything on Saturday. Thank you, Juan Carlos. Kevin, the Irish Canelo, no, no pressure or anything on that. You, you keep telling me I've got to stop saying that, but I like it anyway. But what an opportunity for you when we talked about this card. You know, we knew it was quite a short time and space from Christmas coming out of your performance in December, but an absolute must-take opportunity on this card on Saturday night and a huge stage for you to go and advance your career. Yeah, definitely. Listen, um, I want to thank you for getting me on this card, especially straight after Christmas. Uh, but it's a, it's the opportunities that I think I just feel like I deserve, and I've been working hard. Um, it's a great card to be on, and it's going to be a very noisy night on, on Saturday. I can't wait just to get in there and put on a good performance. Rubio, 19 and 1, dangerous high knockout percentage as well, mixed at good level, but you and your team quite quick to accept this. It's been difficult to find someone to step in the ring for you after your recent performances, but ready for all comers in a preparation for this fight. Yeah, listen, uh, uh, we hope to get the uh, Hassan Adam fight, a former two-time uh, two world champion, so um, he's got a good record and I expect a, a tough fight Saturday night, but up up prepared well and up in um, spawn great. Everything's went to plan in, in camp and I have no complaints, so I can't wait to get in there and, and just put on a good performance. I feel like you're going to see a, a different side to my game Saturday with him being a, a southpaw. Um, I feel like I'll bring out the best in me in terms of I can box a bit more um, and open up a bit more. I know obviously the plan is to go on a headline in Belfast and there'll be plenty of uh, Belfast and Irish fans in the arena. Good chance for you to let them see you in action and then hopefully head back to the Odyssey Arena later this year against a big name. Yeah, definitely. Listen, that's the plan. I want to headline shows in Belfast. Um, it's great to be on this card with, with three other Irish fighters. Um, I spent time on the Irish team with Gary and Thomas and uh, box with, with Mick at training camps and obviously Mick's from my hometown. So it's, it's great and a great opportunity for me on this card. But the, the plan is to go back home and um, headline shows by the end of the year. And, I feel like after this fight, or maybe one more in the summer, I'll be ready for a big name. Well, Agyarko against Rubio, I expect a great fight between those two on Saturday. We move on to Terry Harper against Yamil Abelenda. Great fight, and so good to see Terry Harper back. Obviously, suffering what at the time looked like a shock defeat against a very, very good and talented Alicia Baumgartner. Terry Harper made the move up to lightweight in a very tough fight against Abelenda on Saturday. Before we come to Terry, Yamila, welcome. Um, we've seen you time and time again in against tough challenges and on Saturday you have another very, very tough fight. Bienvenido Yamila, bienvenida en primer lugar. Eh, hemos visto tener unas peleas muy, muy difíciles y, y muchos retos y tienes uno más el sábado por la noche. Bueno, un gusto, la verdad, de estar acá. Este, nos llegó la propuesta, la aceptamos, vimos que este, haciendo un buen trabajo se podía, así que acá estamos. 
aceptando el reto. Sí, yeah, so here we are accepting the challenge. Um, it was put to us. Really pleased to be here. Yeah. Once the offer came in, you know, we took it with both hands. Obviously, it's a, a high-profile fight for you, Terry Harper, world-renowned fighter. Victory on Saturday would, would change your career and change your life and put you in line for all those huge fights in the division. Obviamente es una pelea de alto perfil, eh, una victoria el sábado te pondrá un ranking eh, muy bueno y la posibilidad de grandes peleas en el futuro, supongo. A eso vinimos, estamos preparados, vinimos trabajados, así que a eso vamos, a ganar. That's what we're here for, we've come here, we've put the work in and we've come to do it. Thank you, Mira Terry, welcome back. Looking uh, extremely ready for this fight physically we know how tough tough it was for you at 130 pounds i'm sure those five pounds are feeling particularly nice right now but had a tough time getting over the bound guard in the defeat but looking happy healthy and ready to return in the lightweight division on saturday night yeah it's it's like i've never left really now i'm back here and and I remember when I'm, I've been telling my nana and stuff about me moving up weight, trying to explain that, and she's like, oh, it's only five pounds, but that, that five pounds makes a huge difference, and you probably can see me, uh, see it in me this week. I, I had a good training session last night, and I feel like I've got weeks of training left in me, and I'm full of energy, and um, I'm just happy to be back, and I'm excited to get back out there on Saturday night and show everyone that I've been, what I've been working on, and, uh, this camp, it were really just taking everything back to the drawing board and back to basics and um, just making slight changes that have been needed to be made for a while. I know it was difficult for you after the bound guard of the defeat, but you never made any excuses. You gave her the respect to victory and important to, to draw a line through that now and start this next chapter in your career. Yeah, that fight's been and gone now and um, it's, it were a lesson learned the hard way. And, uh, I'm just excited to be here at the new weight division and um, just fully focused on what's ahead and, and what, what's to come this year. And finally, a word to your supporters from Denneby and Doncaster and all around there because although we've sold a huge amount of tickets on Saturday, you have personally as well. Unbelievable support to see you return to the ring. Yeah, to be honest, after the last fight, I thought everyone was going to go off and disappear, but um, to be fair, I've probably got more fans, and um, I'm just grateful for everyone who's been there from day one, and, and we're on this journey together, really, through the highs and the lows, and um, I'm doing it for them, really, and they're the reason why I'm here. Well, can't wait to see you back in the ring. At 135 pounds, of course, the main event, Michael Conlon against Lee Wood for the World Featherweight title. But a great undercard as well, full of action, live on the zone before the bell, and then onto the main card starting at 7 p.m. on Saturday night. We're going to break now for head-to-heads, and we'll be back for the main event press conference shortly. Thank you.